Hello, I'm Peter Robert from AC Delco. Today, David is going to demonstrate amperage testing using a digital multimeter. Hello, my name is David Wells, and today I'm going to speak to you about measuring amperage using a digital multimeter, or DMM. Before we get into actually using the tool to measure amperage, we should first talk about what amperage is. Amperage is simply a measurement of strength of electrical current through a circuit. Current, as we know, is the flow of electricity from one point to another. Using conventional theory, it would flow from positive to negative. Using the DMM, we can then measure the strength of that current and know how much electricity is flowing through a circuit. Before we actually measure a current on a circuit, let's talk a little bit about the tool we use to do that. For our purposes, we'll be using a Fluke 87 digital multimeter. Your meter may differ slightly, but the basic operation should be the same. The important points that you want to understand about the meter are the input jacks here and here and the rotary dial. As far as the input jacks are concerned, the main two that you'll be using are the amps terminal and the milliamp and microamp terminal. You will also be using the common port for our, to complete our path. The rotary dial the positions you'll be using are here, the milliamp amp setting and the microamp setting. Before we use the meter, we should first check the fuses. To do this, we insert our red lead into either the amp terminal or the microamp terminal and then turn the meter on to any position other than the amp setting. If you hear a beep and see the word lead at the top display, you know that the fuse is working properly. To test the milliamp fuse, we move the lead over to that position and do the same thing. That beep tells us that our fuses are good. If we did not hear a beep, then our fuse would be blown and we would need to service the meter before using it. Let's talk about the fuses. The two fuses are a 10 amp fuse to protect the amp terminal and a 400 milliamp fuse to protect the milliamp microamp terminal. If you exceed those ratings, the fuse will blow and the meter will not work. Okay, let's take a look at how we're going to measure amperage on a simple circuit. You can see on our project board here, we have a simple circuit set up to flow DC current or direct current through our light bulb. We have our 13 volt power supply here, it flows through this red wire here through our fuse, to our switch, over to this wire, to the input side of the bulb, through the bulb, and then to the ground. So if I turn the switch on, you can see we have a working circuit here. Now we want to understand how to measure amperage through this circuit. First we'll shut our circuit off to power it down. Next we need to set up our digital multimeter. We'll do that by inserting the leads into the proper terminals. You want to always start by inserting the red lead into the amp terminal. If we're measuring a lower current circuit, we can move the lead over to the milliamp scale. However, it's important to always start at the amp scale. That way, if the current exceeds the 400 milliamp fuse rating, we don't blow the fuse. Next, we'll take our black lead and insert it into the common or ground terminal. Next, we need to turn our meter on. Since we're going to start at our high level, we want to turn our rotary knob to the milliamp amp setting. That will read our higher scale. The next thing you want to do is adjust the meter to read either AC or alternating current or DC direct current. Since we're working on a direct current circuit here, we'll need to switch our meter from AC to DC. You can see on the display here, we're currently set for AC. By pushing the yellow function button, that cycles our meter to the DC scale. We're now ready to measure amperage. Remember, measuring amperage is measurement of the strength of electricity flowing through a circuit. In order to do that, we need to make the digital multimeter part of the circuit. To do this, we need to break the electrical circuit and insert the meter in line. To do that, we start off by powering down our circuit, which we already are, we next need to create an open within our circuit. I'll do that by disconnecting it here. Remember, 
Amperage is the same throughout the entire circuit, so it doesn't matter where you disconnect the circuit, your reading will be the same throughout. Your next step will be to insert the red lead to the most positive side of the circuit. In other words, using conventional theory, electricity will flow from our power point down through the switch to the bulb and to the ground. Therefore, power is coming from this direction. We want our red lead on this side of our brake. Next, we'll insert our black lead into the wiring to complete the circuit. Now with the meter connected, when I turn the switch on, electricity should flow from our power point through this red lead, through the fuse, through the switch, then through the red lead of our meter, into our meter, out our black lead, around through to this green wire, and then onto the bulb and ultimately to ground. At this point, we should read amperage. As you can see on our display, we are reading 0.236 amps of current through this circuit, or 236 milliamps. Since we are below our 400 milliamp threshold, if we want a finer resolution, we can simply move our lead over to the milliamp microamp input and read a higher resolution on our meter. And indeed, we can see we're now reading 230.6 milliamps. For amperage readings below 1 milliamp, you can use the microamp setting on the meter. Simply turn the knob to the microamp setting. You will probably also need to change your function from AC back to DC, and then you can read microamps. As you can see, we're, our meter is displaying OL or out of limits, which means we're currently reading more than one milliamp. Because of that, we know that we need to switch our dial back to milliamps, change our function back to DC to properly read this circuit. Hopefully this demonstration has helped to show you the proper way to measure amperage in a circuit. Thanks, David. Remember, when testing amperage, the meter is hooked up in series and the circuit should be operating. If the circuit does not operate, your meter might not be hooked up correctly. Thanks for watching.